welcome to Android Dialogues where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Quinn Dao and I'm speaking with... Uh, I'm Hiroshi Kurokawa. And uh, Hiroshi, uh, we are actually at Droid Kagi right now mm -hmm. and uh, we are very glad to have Hiroshi in the show. Hiroshi, uh, where are you based and how did you get started in Android? Okay, uh, I'm currently working as a freelance Android engineer. Mm -hmm. And before that, uh, I was working at a startup uh, mm -hmm. called Kunosi as an Android engineer. Oh, wow. And uh, last spring, yeah, we had the first uh, Droid Kaigi, mm. uh, which is a tech conference for Android developers, mm. by, the de for, by the developers, for mm -hmm. the developers. Mm -hmm. I see. So, actually, uh, there isn't a big tech conference for Android developers mm. before. Mm. So, we decided, I mean, I and other Android developers mm -hmm. decided to have such kind of big conference. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the background. Yeah. And this is actually the second year that you had yeah. Droid Kagi, and right. um, it's, it's been pretty great to like kind of hear you talk about Droid Kagi because you said that you had almost or over or almost twice as many people attendees this year as yeah. last year, right? Actually, the first time uh, we had uh, about two hundred people, mm. and this time uh, we had about four hundred people, and the length is doubled. I mean, two days long. So mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, yeah, I, I'm really excited. <laughs> and, and, and we were very excited to um, come as well because you uh, basically allowed six of us overseas speakers to come uh, and, and yeah. enjoy this. So we were, we were really thrilled and it's been a wonderful conference. Um, and um, well, and, and you're not just one of the organizers, you're actually mm -hmm. a speaker as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually just attended uh, Hiroshi's uh, talk this uh, afternoon on RxJava yeah. operators. Yes. It really seems like a lot of people are using RxJava these days. How did you get started using RxJava? Oh, actually, uh, when I am working as a, a freelance Android engineer, mm. I sometimes have to uh, prepare, uh, sorry, develop a prototype. Mm, mm. In that case, I have to uh, quickly implement a concept, a proof of concept product mm -hmm. to show how it works. Mm -hmm. In that case, uh, RxJava is really powerful. Mm. As you know, uh, I can do such kind of complicated uh, Function with mm -hmm. a stream, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and that is you know, why I I love RxJava. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think um, Hiroshi had like my favorite slide of the conference today because he had a slide explaining um, everything is a stream, and it was like the my favorite title, oh, like, yeah. my favorite slide of the whole conference <laughs> so far. Well, actually, one of the great things about Joy Kagi mm -hmm. is that they're professionally recording all of the sessions, mm -hmm. which will be available yeah. later online. Yeah, so yeah. even if you couldn't be in uh, Tokyo with us, you can actually see some of the great content. But for your talk on custom operators, mm -hmm. uh, can you kind of maybe give people an idea of when it would be a good idea? Like what, in what uh, situations they might consider, you know, working with their own like operators in okay. RxJava? Uh, basically, uh, you might need to, you might not need to develop your own custom operator mm -hmm. or observer. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there is some Rx binding or mm. retrofit or mm -hmm. great libraries. Mm. But sometimes you would like to use uh, API or something mm. uh, for which uh, any library, Rx Java library, is not provided. Mm -hmm. In my case, uh, I'd like to use a nearby API, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, there is no library to handle such APIs using Rx Java. Mm -hmm. So I, I was starting to develop. Uh, that library, mm. so that's the background of why I would like to develop my own custom operator mm -hmm. and observer. So, so many of the presentations were in Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, I don't speak Japanese, but uh, Hiroshi actually did all of his slides in English, and I think that you know, um, even if you don't speak Japanese, you should still check out some of the material because yeah. I actually understood a lot of what your presentation oh, really? was, and I learned a lot yeah, 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 um, just because the, the slides were so good. Thank you so much for joining us, and and again, uh, we've had a wonderful time at Droid Kagi, so thank you very much thank for that you. as well. And uh, if people wanted to find you on the internet, uh, how can they do that? Okay, uh, I'm using Twitter. Uh, Twitter account is uh, HydraceCat, H U I D R A K E C A T. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, my GitHub account is H Krokawa, mm -hmm. H K U R O K A W A. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and you can uh, actually get your uh, ARGs nearby on GitHub as well. So, yeah, so GitHub. if you're interested in that, you should definitely go check out yeah. uh, Hiroshi's uh, GitHub account. So thank you so much thank for, hav for having for having or being with us today. Thank you. Okay, and see you guys later. Bye. Bye.